Okay, another, another topic, hot topic with a base, of course, is should we stand or should we sit? And as far as a bow is concerned, there's a little bit of something in standing and sitting. Because if I'm, if I'm sitting, this is how I would sort of sit, with the base in front of me, quite square on. So this is kind of good in a way. I'm not completely stuck. There are some, some schools where you put your feet straight down and you're stuck with it. This isn't much use, I think. But if you have one leg, one leg up on the chair rung, then, you know, if you need the E string, you can let the bass go. If you need the G string, you can let the bass up. You don't notice I'm doing it, but I'm just moving the bass around using my point of contact in my knee. That's uh, something good about, about that. When I'm bowing, I am having to use a little bit my string crossing muscles, which are the underneath muscles in my arm here. I don't know the, lat the names, but the ones that I use, they're, they're string crossing muscles, but they're also useful when you sit because I'm at an angle. So I need to be aware of those muscles in order to support the bow upwards. Uh, another idea might be, it's just come to me now, that in fact, if I'm seated and I'm like this, perhaps that's helping me a little bit. The angle's helping me. Maybe. Anyway, standing. Standing's a different, a different thing. If I need my lower body and I'm seated, of course I don't have it to use. Uh, if, I, if I'm standing, let's stand for a minute here. I'll move this chair. I hope I don't forget to sit down. If I'm standing, I have to put the base at a, a bigger angle. And Bodicini stops, the, he was a very tall fella, uh, but he stopped the base, he said, stop the base from falling this way with your knee. So the base stands up by itself. I think I can do that probably without my knee. I'm used to that now, which is good. And what's good about it is that, is that, that there's no weight at all on my thumb. If I let the bass go back, a lot of people think, oh, well, I've, I'll have it the same as when I stand. The weight of, my, of the bass is on my thumb. So, of course, it makes difficulties in shifting. If I had the bass more like this at a sort of a, almost a 45 degree angle, uh, then it's much easier to balance the instrument. What's good maybe is that I can take a bow, as it were, and it's put me in the upper register. And if I stand up straighter, it'll bring me down. So I actually can use the attitude of the bass to go from one register to another. The bow, of course, my arm's hanging straight down now. So arguably, I've got a bigger sound, which in fact, most people do standing, slightly bigger sound. I can hear it whether the mice will pick it up or not. The sound's much bigger without trying. So standing is good in that way. Uh, it's very easy to get around the bass that way. Somehow I feel I'm quite flexible. And the weight of my arm goes right down on the string, which we said was a very good idea. Uh, I can get around. Well, just take a bow and stand up. Um, it's easier probably to use It's easier to let the bow down too that way. Um, there are good things about both. If I was playing perhaps some chamber music or certainly a solo uh, piece, I would stand up. Uh, in the orchestra, of course, I would sit down. And so uh, uh, that's a little bit about standing or sitting. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any questions, you could put them in the comment sections below.